Emmerdale, what is your routine like on an offset? Uh, it's actually a very good job that I have, um, or they don't tell my producers then. But uh, I work, I'm very unlucky if I work three days a week. Because the way we work, we, we actually work with three different film units all day long. Uh, we can work from 7.30 in the morning until 7.30 in the evening, and we work every third Saturday. So if you've got a major storyline, you can work very hard. If you're just um, an incidental character, which I am at the moment, they just bring me in every now and again to remind the audience that my character Rodney Blackstock is alive. It's a weird way we work, but you can be there at 11 o'clock in the morning, do one scene and then be finished. Or you can work, as I say, from 7.30 until uh, 7.30. Yeah, there's no day is the same. So what happens if you do have a minor role in one of the episodes and you're there for the day? What do you do offset? Well, I come home because I don't live very far away from the studios. Um, because uh, in my real life I'm a writer and I'm just an actor to earn money and I go home and write. What kind of things do you write? Uh, I've written my autobiography, which uh, I'm sure that your, your viewers can find in any uh, what Amazon or any good bookshop. Um, I've just finished a wonderful children's story, which my son Maxim has been helping me write, called The Most Club Snaggling Bling in the Unit Lub, that at the moment is with a publisher, and I'm in the middle of a thriller. What do you enjoy most, acting or writing? I really, really enjoy writing. I love words. Usually it doesn't take me more than about a quarter of an hour to say, come back from filming, go and sit in the piano room and sit there, look at the window, look what I've written before, get back into gear and then I can start writing and I write very quickly. You auditioned for James Bond. Um, mm. how, obviously you didn't get the part, but how did you handle this? At the time, Sean Connery was doing Bond. And on the Sunday, um, uh, my phone rang at home and it was, and he said this, Harry saw this, this is the biggest film producer in the world, right? Yeah. Uh, phoned me and said, um, uh, uh, Patrick, it's uh, Harry Saltzman. He said, uh, can you come in on Monday? He said, uh, we got a director we'd like you to meet. And, uh, and I said, yeah, okay, so what time is it? 4.30 or something like that. So anyway, I went in um, uh, to uh, his office in South Audley Street and they were there again, just the two of them. And I sat down in the, in the chair and he said, uh, Patrick, he said, and I said, what, who, who's the director? And he said, well, and, he, and uh, Harry, Cubby Rockley was there and he kept doing this with his glasses and he was looking at me like this and they were both staring at me. And they, he said, uh, Patrick, can we go and let you in on a secret? He said, but he said, have you seen the Bond films? And I said, yeah. And he said, uh, what do you think of them? I said, I think they're fantastic. And uh, he said, yeah. He said, what do you think of Sean? And I said, he's great, he's incredible. And uh, they said, yeah, um, we're going to get tell you a secret here. You're going to keep this, this doesn't leave this room. And I said, yeah. And he said, um, Sean doesn't want to do any more bonds. And I said, well, why not? And he said, he's had enough. And I said, oh, no, he's, who are you going to get? And there was a silence. And they're both looking at me. I looked at like that. And they said, you think about me? And then when you I said, why? And I said, but. Sean's a man. And they said, you're a man, Patrick. And I said, I was 28. And I said, yeah, but I always felt, I was like a little boy, I think I feel like a little boy now. But um, And I said, what? I went to see them eight times. They took me, they used to go to these boardrooms and I used to go through the door and I used to open the door and I'd go, nang, 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 nang. I said, the name's Moore, Patrick Moore. And I said, don't make me laugh because I look too young. And, uh, and that was, I sort of talked myself out of it in a way. I told them I was too young. And, I, and looking at myself now uh, in old television stuff that I've done, I thought I was too young at the time. But when I see myself, and I was in a series called Callan and Special Branch, um, I see myself then and I can see what they saw then, and I would have made a good bond then. So to Emmerdale again. Um, do you feel like you have any similarities with your character? Most characters you'll find, because of the time of filming, you haven't got time to put funny noses on and, and put different hairstyles and, you know, different makeup. There's no time for all that. So the characters tend to become very similar to the, your, what you are in real life. So, yes, Rodney's... I'm a, 
I don't know whether Rodney's like me or I'm like Rodney, but we're, there's not too much difference, I don't think. Uh, with your lines, do you mm. get to do any ad-libbing, ad-libbing while you're shooting? No, or? we no, we, we have very strict, as the, it's because of the time, again, we have someone who's a bit like one of your schoolmasters who comes along and they're, they're standing there with a the script and if you say the line's wrong, they come up and actually say to you, you said mm, and instead of if or something like that. Not, not quite as bad as that, but generally you, you have to say the lines that are there. You can, you make them, you can knock the edges off a little bit and make them a bit, um, a bit more of your own in a way, but um, you generally no ad-libbing goes on. No. Do you ever tire of the people seeing you in the street and pointing and saying, that's Patrick Moore, isn't it? <laughs> no, I, it's strange enough, I, I don't notice anymore. It's, it's, it sounds, a, it's, not, it's not conceited, but it's, it's a bit blasé that uh, other people notice it more than me, people who are with me. Um, I, I'm so used to people looking at me, I, I tend to say hello to everybody, I just go hello. Um, and it, it doesn't really bother me at all. It's rather nice. <laughs> So finally, uh, what advice would you give people who are really willing to act and possibly write as well? I would say my advice would be for younger people, um, such as you, uh, to if you want to be an actress or, or even a writer, do it. Do as much acting as you can in an amateur way and, or whatever and, uh, and just see whether you're any good. So, you know, um, sometimes you can be discovered. Thank you, I'm sure many people will take that on board. Thank you very much for taking out the time to do this. Okay, my pleasure, nice talking to you.